A big move for transparency at City Hall tonight. City Councilman Yitzi Schleifer introducing a bill to shed more light on how City Hall spends your tax dollars. This bill is aimed at solving that and just making it very simple as to who has to file uh, information so that the public can really see where their tax dollars are going to. Well, the bill would make nonprofits show receipts for how they spend money they get from the city. Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost has demanding transparency from leaders for nearly two years now. She joins us live now outside City Hall. Mackenzie. Yeah, Mary and Kai, we've been trying to figure out how some of these city programs spend your tax dollars for several years. And now this bill from Councilman Isaac Yitzi Schleifer is looking to make more of that information readily available to the public. Good afternoon. Support for the accountability and transparency in city grant making bill. Uh, next up, Madam Clerk, if you could go to the next bill. City Council Bill 23-0376 is growing. So this bill is set out to clarify who uh, would need to file proper financial disclosures and what reporting would be required. The crux of the push to shed new light on how nonprofits spend grants coming from the city, especially as City Hall allocates its $641 million share of the American Rescue Plan funds. We see uh, tens, sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars going out the door to organizations, and it's important that we have the same level of transparency. After years of digging into how the community-based organizations running Safe Streets spend taxpayer dollars, more questions arise usually than answers, often coming up short on details. But it's not just Safe Streets where we've hit a dead end with information. Other programs like Clean Core are surrounded in more questions too. I too have been, been asking a lot of questions and so, you know, hopefully this just has a uniform process in how all of these programs are handled. City Council President Nick Mosby along with council members Zeke Cohen and Danielle McRae co-sponsoring the legislation, leaving several elected leaders not signing their name to the transparency effort. So we tried to find out why. Do you plan to support um, the transparency and accountability in the grant making process bill uh, okay. I, haven't, I haven't had a hearing on that yet i know but it was introduced today do you plan to co-sponsor it do you, do you think that's important to bring more transparency to that effort councilman christopher burnett not interested in answering but others seem to be on board do you think that there should be more transparency in the way that the city handles the grant making process and how those nonprofits spend the money yeah, I think of course we want to make sure that nonprofits are spending money well. Do you have any plans to support it? Do you think that there should be more transparency in the grant making process within Baltimore City? There should be more uh, transparency uh, and seeing exactly where the grants go. Um, I, I fully support uh, my colleague. The plan has been sent for a hearing with the Rules and Legislative Oversight Committee. Now, it's unclear when we'll see this piece of legislation brought up for more debate during that committee hearing, although Councilman Schleifer tells me he's willing to work with anyone to get this plan moving forward. We're live outside City Hall. Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. Mackenzie, thank you. Fox 45 News has been demanding answers about how the Safe Streets program spends its money for more than a year. In January, Baltimore City handed over more than 450 pages worth of Safe Streets related contracts after Fox 45 News threatened legal action. The contract shed light on how the program operates. The names of the employees are redacted because Safe Street says they're not city employees. They work for the nonprofit that operates that location. You can find more on those contracts on our website, foxbaltimore.com. Well, the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement is not one of the city agents, agencies subject to audits. Adam Angievsky with the OpenTheBooks.com says that's a problem. There isn't any evidence as to whether or not Safe Streets is performing well or not performing at all. There's no annual audit on this. And we've called on Comptroller Bill Henry. Look, the citizens in Baltimore, they need a city watchdog. Bill Henry is the comptroller. He ran on it. The mayor can also perform this function, but people need to be able to follow the money. Well, as he mentioned, Comptroller Bill Henry promised to expand the audit system on the campaign trail back in 2020, but that hasn't happened yet. Take a listen. We need to not just do the bare minimum audits of city agencies that are uh, required by the charter. We need to do as many as need to be done. 
Well, we've seen misuse of funds when it comes to anti-violence programs. According to a report in the Philadelphia Inquirer, an anti-violence grant program in that city left millions of dollars unspent and thousands more unaccounted for. And that brings us to our question of the day. Do you think the mayor's office of neighborhood safety and engagement needs to be audited? The poll just opened. So far, 100% of voters say yes. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote to weigh in. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.